Welcome to another episode of Die Project Tinker Cast Code Blocks 3D Tutorial. Today we are going to make one vase. So for making a vase, I am renaming my project as vase. Then I am going to modification, creating a new object. Below that I am going to create one variable. So I am creating one variable and renaming it as that okay it is created now I'm going to controls taking one repeat and changing the value to 10 so the process inside the repeat will be repeated 10 times after that I'm going to my shapes scroll down take your torus open the modifications inside the modifications I'm going to use the math operation. I'm going to use this addition operator and setting the radi radius as 10 and adding the value to my variable value. After that, I'm changing the size to 60 to make it more round. Then the tube thickness will be 2 units. Then I'm going to modifications, taking a move in Z axis. I'm using the same addition operator with the variable I have created, and the increment value will be 1. After this, I'm going to math, taking change my variable value by 1, sorry, by 2 each time when the loop is repeated so let's see I'm increasing the speed to max so my bottom portion of the vac is created I'm going to repeat this process to create the top portion and neck of my bath so far that I'm just duplicating this changing the repeat value to 11 instead of using this radius I'm going to take another addition operator changing it to subtraction operator and again changing this to subtraction operator putting one inside another adding it to my radius then the radius created at the last circle will be 30. So I have to reduce the value from that point to my desired value. I am reducing my 30 from the variable I have created by the last value. Then the move will be the same. There is no change in that. After that, let's play and see. Oh, I have to change it to 11. Let's play. In the second loop, the values are start from the previous loop value. So I have to reduce the value from the previous loop. In the previous loop it is 20 and from 20 I am reducing it to 2, reducing it by 2 times for my next loop. Then I have to create the neck of my vas. So I am going to take this repeat, duplicating it once again, repeating it for six times now then the radius will be constant here I am taking the radius as 10 which is the last value created then after that the Z will be the same and uh, 
change of item will be the same let's see After creating this, I have to put a head or a nozzle for my vest. So I'm going to use the same repeat operation. I'm just going to duplicate this, put it down. Then I'm going to repeat it for four times. And in the radius, I'm going to use the same operation which I have done for the second loop. But the thing is, I need to increase the size of the torus, so I am going to use addition operator instead of subtraction operator and the radius will be increased from 10. My last value is 10, then the last value where I have to start reducing will be 54 in this case. So I am going to reduce 54 from my variable value and the radius value will be added with the reduced variable value. Everything will be the same. Now let's see what will happen. So my VAS is created, now I have to put a bottom piece for that or else it will be a hole there. So for making a bottom piece I am going to use a simple cylinder, I am going to cylinder, taking one cylinder, putting it here and changing its height, open its um, <coughs> modifications and we are changing the radius to 11 height to 2 and the size to 60 and I am going to modify it to move move the z axis by 1 and finally I am creating a group and changing its color completely to white so Let's see. One thing I have to do is I'm stopping the loop. I have started from ten for my head of the nozzle of the vest so the neck also should to be 10 I forgot to change it now I am doing it So that's all for a vase. This is our vase created from torus and a tube. We are using four repeat loops to increase the radius and uh, decrease the radius of the torus to make our vase. If you like the video, press the like button. Put your feedback in the comment box. Share the video. Let's see you in next video.